Soilus stands for wholeness, that which our nature requires. It embodies the impulse towards self-realization and indicates the path you must follow, not from ulterior motives, but from the core of your individuality. Seeking after wholeness is the spiritual warrior's quest, and yet what you are striving to become in actuality is what, by nature, you already are. Become conscious of your essence and bring it into form. Express it in a creative way. A ruin of great power, making life force available to you. Soilu marks a time for regeneration, down to the cellular level. Although this ruin has no reverse position, there is reason for caution. You may see fit to withdraw or even to retreat in the face of a pressing situation, especially if events or people are demanding that you expend your energy now. Know that such a retreat is a retreat in strength, a voyage inward for centering, for balance. Timely retreat is among the skills of the spiritual warrior. Soilu counsels opening yourself up, letting the light into a part of your life that has been secret, shut away. To accomplish this may call for a profound recognition, for admitting to yourself something that you have long denied. There is a prayer known as the Gaia Tree that embodies the spirit of the ruin of wholeness. Address the sun in this fashion. You, who are the source of all power, whose rays illuminate the world, illuminate also my heart, so that it too can do your work. While reciting the Gaia Tree, visualize the sun's rays streaming forth into the world, entering your heart, and then streaming out from your heart's center and back into the world. This is a powerful and life-enhancing prayer. There is a caution here not to give yourself airs. Even in a time of bountiful energy, you are required to face and vanquish your refusal to let right action flow through you. Nourish this capacity, for it is a mark of true humility. Practice the art of doing without doing. Aim yourself truly and then maintain your aim without manipulative effort. Meditate on Christ's words, I can of my own self do nothing. John 5.30 For by our own power we do nothing. Even in loving, it is love that loves through us. This way of thinking and being integrates new energies and permits us to flow into wholeness which is the ultimate goal of the spiritual warrior.